Hello and welcome. If you are new here, we're Aramis and Emily, a UK-based couple with a love of the outdoors. We bought this Ford Transit panel van with the intention to convert it into our ultimate adventure van for our trips across the UK and abroad. After 12 months of hard work on the weekends, we are starting to get closer and closer to the finish line. If you missed last week's episode, we completely transformed the van by completing the overhead cupboards. This means we are another big step closer to completion. In this week's episode, we want to turn this into this. And to do this, we've got some teddy fleece DV cover and cheapest handheld sewing machine. Wish us luck. So, bear in mind, we have no idea what we're doing, so don't copy us. Yeah, but whatever we're doing, unless it works, yeah. do not copy us. <laughs> we're gonna try, if you're gonna fail it, we'll learn it, and we can share with you, but that's what's the plan. So, we have our foam. There is ways where you can measure the foam, then I think there is even a website where you can put all the uh, lengths and everything, and it gives you perfect uh, measurements for the cut. But we're not using that. No, we're scrapping that because yeah. it takes far too long and too much brain power, which yeah. we don't have. We're gonna go simple. That's why we, as we said, we bought the cheapest sewing handheld machine. So what was it, 12.99 or yeah, something? Yeah, 12 pounds is gonna do the job for us. So we roughly measured what's the foam the thickness. I think, it's, I think they call it the net measurement. So yeah. what everything is when it's open, don't quote me on that though, if that's wrong. I already cut the piece uh, from the actual duvet cover. So you need to put it inside out. But also, also, whilst we're on the subject of duvet covers, the reason we went for this is one, we couldn't find anywhere that did specific fabric that wasn't online where we couldn't touch it, feel yeah. it, whatever. But also, once we started this, we figured that a lot of the edges, if we're careful with which parts we use, are already obviously pre-stitched or pre-buttoned. So that will save us hopefully a bit of time on some of the pieces. We don't want a perfect finish. As long as it's covered, that's gonna be perfect for us. And to be honest, Kingside Duvet set costs 20 quid on online, where if you go and buy a fabric. Upholstery, like a, like a haberdashery or something yeah. like that, then you're looking at a lot more money. Like 10 pounds per meter minimum, I would say. As we're building everything on the, on the budget and we're happy to learn new skills, we thought we're gonna give it a try and do it ourselves. That's a plane, by the way. Plane, it's very, very rudely interrupted. Yeah, we're gonna lay the cup piece on the table and we're just gonna stitch the edges and hope it's gonna fit. If it's not gonna fit, we're gonna take it out, stitch it again. So we have three big pieces and three small pieces. So I think by the end of the day, we're going to be professional for that. We covered two small pieces with just a single pillowcase. Yeah. And obviously that has to fold in it. So there was nothing we needed to do. So that was two pieces done like yeah. pronto. Let's try to finish this one now. So here we start by laying out the material and we cut it to the size of the foam. From there, we turn it inside out and use our handy little sewing machine to put some stitches across the outside edges of the material. We then left one edge open to be able to insert the foam. Other thing that we learned that it's really difficult to put the actual foam inside the cover because it just sticks it to grabs, it. Doesn't it? Yeah. And this plastic film thing makes it so easy; just it just slides in. Jesus Christ! Are we professional upholsters now as well? Yeah, look at that. Add that to our CV. So that's the second piece. First one was a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's already second. But now we know how to fix our mistake. We should be able to do this quicker yeah. and slightly better. There are still, okay, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's covered and it's snug and it's cute as hell. Look at that. The thing is as well, right, is that we are, we are doing this completely blind. So if it's not straight in a straight line, if this stitch isn't in a straight line, but there's no fun showing. It's good happy with that. So I think we should do all of the pieces to the best that we can now. Yeah. Get them in and any that are really baggy or a bit much then we can obviously yeah. change. By the way that's the ones that that's the actual pillowcase. It's got so much stretch to it. I mean you have got this flap here but it's still covered it and it's not gone like completely see-through which I was worried it might with too much mm. stretch but 
That's fine. Absolutely fine. Right, let's crack on and get all the pieces done. Once we figured out how to cover them as accurately as possible, we cracked on and repeated the process on a few more foam pieces. So we've done three pieces now, and the last one turned out, I think, the best. So far, the best yeah, one. the best so far. Definitely. On the third one, we actually even fitted a zipper, so we can zip it up. I just think that if you look very closely, then yes, it's a blooming mess. There's no straight lines or anything, yeah. but it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think once we've got all the cushions and a couple of blankets, which we were gonna have anyway, that will hide some of the yeah. sins. I think it's gonna look great. We've got two more squares, which shouldn't take that long, and we're done. We're gonna show you how it looks like. That looks lush. That was good. So it took hours and hours, and it was quite back breaking. But the final product, it does look good. I'm super pleased with how this has turned out. In our end vision, we still have more cushions. At the moment, we had just two cushions. We're going to show you how easy it is actually to make it to the night mode. So that back piece is our middle piece. So when it comes to the bed mode, you pull the middle section out and that fits nice and snug in. And that's it. We have a king size bed. I can fully starfish. Yeah. It is so spacious. <sighs> so we figured out that to upholster the foam, we spent 32 pounds. And if you count the bed in as well, it was like 95 pounds or something, 97. 97 pounds to get the foam, the duvet sewing machine. We think that's quite good price if you're looking to cover your phone with something and you're not fussed about it being yeah, super precise just do it. try it next weekend and man is looking really good from last time we finished our house trick the thing is that we don't have much left to do so i think today's plan is gonna be improve our kitchen area and we have a couple of things tiles Amazon bought these from Amazon. They were £25 for 10 sheets and they are just some white stick-on tiles. So it looks more like a kitchen. Another task for us for today. We wanted to cover this ugly corner where there's some carpet and insulation walking out. So we're gonna fit a box which is gonna have a socket it's just gonna sit there and cover everything up. And we're also probably gonna install a, um, a switch for under lights here. So I'm gonna fit some LED lights under the covers. And I also have a one of them. This is a uh, motion sensor, which gonna turn the lights inside our uh, overhead show. So I think that's the goal for today. And I think it should transform this area. So we're gonna start from tiles it's very simple to use by the instructions the first piece you put on you need to cut these ends off and then that's the overlap side so not much of thinking just peel it off and stick it on so with the simple instructions in mind we began the process of peeling and sticking the tiles on if only it was this quick to do First job of the day done. So now we just need to cover this ugly corner. And to do that, I need to run some wires and fix everything in place. I'm gonna yeah. fit this grip. What's it called? So grip. That, that grippy thing. It's a draw liner basically to stop yeah. everything from slipping. So I'm going to do that and get that done. So, whilst I lined the drawers, Aramis started running wires for the AC point and a few more wires for the kitchen under lights. So, 
it's been a very long day, but it was productive. We've done what we wanted to do for today, which was a kitchen. And uh, we have as well the bottom light. I like these ones. This gives it a really nice. Yeah. Let's turn this one off and see what happens. Ooh. So that needs just sanding and painting. Painting, but yeah, that's where we're at. We have much, we have, much, we have much more light now. Other thing that we thought about that do you probably want to finish this line somehow? Oh. We might put like some sort of like a divider, like a wall, a small wall, not completely I have a blocking vision out. For that. I do have a vision. For yeah. That. So like just cutting off yeah. the actual. But I think it should be something like. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's the progress for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Do the same probably like these lights. We have lights across the bench, but I don't like personally the light. No, they're not very nice. So I'm going to swap the exactly the same ones like, like these. I think like, these would look really nice around the bottom. Having colour there just yeah. kind of kills the vibe. We also ended up with some extra blankets yeah. that my auntie gave us that seem to match our cushions perfectly we've just got to readjust the toilet lid and think about a toilet and some curtains and then we're pretty much there yeah we yeah, are really close and then maybe build a little bookshelf along that wall and i still need to make my kitchen out, outdoor kitchen but we still have but the outdoor kitchen doesn't need to be nah, done like now that's the thing you, we I think it's one of those things where the van build is never finished. There's not finished because you always come up with like, oh, I need that. But we're getting really close. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. We don't have much plans for today. We just want to finish a couple of little things. Really, we came down to get the van because we want to use it next weekend. Yeah. But anything we can do. It needs a good wash. So yeah, first job, light. So we got this LED strip that we used under the kitchen cupboards it's really easy to use them you have these places where you can solder the new wire on and then just double side tape and that's it you stick it on wire it up and i'm good to go That's it, we're done for today. We've done mostly what we wanted, a part of that life. She's basically, She's very we ready. can take her out as many times as we like now, as long as we don't need a wee, need a poo, or need curtains. So yeah, that's the progress of today. We've got these lights on, we've got the switch here on. That's painted and all good now. Yeah, I'm really pleased. We've got gubbins in all the drawers, obviously about 800 cans of beans. It feels super cosy in here as well. One more thing, I know we haven't got our light in here yet, but we have got a cupboard full of blankets too, which I'm very pleased about. That's all. That's going to be it for this video. Next weekend we're going to take her out somewhere close, not far, and we thought maybe you want to ask us some questions, so if you have any, Anything about the build, what we used, what we liked about it, what we didn't like, literally any questions about the build, yeah. please leave them below because we will sit down at some point and answer yeah. those for you. Should you have anything? Let us know. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this slightly patchwork episode. We are so pleased with her progress and are itching to take her out for a trip. Leave some location suggestions below, we'd love to know some good spots. Come back next week to find out what we get up to next. Bye!